This figure shows a typical stress-strength curve of a concrete in compressions. The stress is determined by the force per unit area of the concrete, while the strength is referring to the deformations over the original size of the member. The stress increases as the strength increases. The relationship is close to a parabolic response. The ultimate strength of the concrete is about 0.0035. That means it is about 0.35% of the original size of the concrete. From the curve here, the early stage here behaves as is a linear relationship. The development of the stress is almost proportional to the development of the strength in the concrete. We refer this dish as an elastic state and releasing the stress anywhere in between the regions, full displacement recovery is expected. Then, starting from a certain stage, the gradient of the curve decreases. The reductions of the gradient decreases more rapidly at the later stage. The stress strength relationship becomes non linear here, or we normally term it as a plastic response. Releasing the stress over these regions you will find incomplete recovery of the strength and there will be permanent deformations of the concrete. This slide compares the actual parabolic rectangular diagram of the stress strength curve and the simplified stress strength relationship of a concrete. In the actual situations, a parabolic response of the stress-strain relationship is developed. However, for simplicity of analysis, we can easily assume that it is a straight line. This simplifies the process to calculate the actual stress within the parabolic curve. This line represents the characteristic strength of the concrete. It represents the strength of the concrete with at least 95% of the conditions not lower than this value. This strength is normally termed as FCK. However, for the design of the concrete element, normally we will not use up the full characteristic strength of the member. The design strength is termed as FCD. We design in accordance to the FCD in order to provide allowance for the critical situations of the concrete. These allowances are normally given by the partial factor of safety of concrete. Simply said, due to the partial factor of safety of concrete, we normally design the concrete at a certain degree of lower strength than its actual strength.